Hey y'all, welcome back to another recipe video. And today y'all been waiting for this one, pecan pie bars, just in time for Thanksgiving and 100% keto friendly. Let's get it. Work it, make it, do it, makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. Ingredients you're gonna need today are some molasses, don't worry, we're not using much, some pure vanilla extract, some coconut oil, some maple extract, some xanthan gum for thickening. We're gonna use some almond flour, granular, I love Lakanto, some pecans, and some heavy whipping cream. That is it. Not bad ingredients and everything you can find at your local grocery store. So we're gonna go ahead and sift our two cups of our almond flour first. I highly suggest that you sift when making any keto baking. It just makes such a difference. Two tablespoons of my Lakanto or granular, one teaspoon of my pure vanilla extract, and then a third of a cup of coconut oil melted. This is for the crust only. Take your spatula and make sure that all that's incorporated. It will be crumbly, not super wet. My nine by nine Pyrex dish, I'm gonna go ahead and put my crumbs in and using our best tools, our hands, I'm gonna press it down nice and firm so it makes the best crust ever. I'm thinking about making this crust for several other recipes, y'all. It is so good. We're gonna pop it in a 350 degree oven for about 12 minutes, 10 to 14, depending on your oven. While we wait for the crust to get done, we're gonna go ahead and chop our pecans. We're gonna need a total of a cup of pecans, but we're gonna divide it into half. While that's waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and put my heavy cream, which is going to be three fourths of a cup of heavy cream, half a cup of granular, again, I'm using Lakanto, a tablespoon of coconut oil, one teaspoon of our xanthan gum, just to give this a thickening agent, a pinch of salt, and I went a little bit overboard, but that's okay. And I ran out of vanilla extract, so I'm going in with Jordan Skinny Syrup, but for vanilla, half a teaspoon, and then a fourth of a teaspoon of your maple extract, and also a fourth of a teaspoon of your molasses, which is really hard to get out of there, honestly. So you're gonna give this a good stir, cook this on medium high until it comes to a boil, as you see here, and then also as it becomes thick. You want it to become thick, but you don't want it to burn. So when it gets this caramel color and it's pulling away from the pot, you are done, take it off the heat. We're gonna add half a cup of our chopped pecans to our caramel mixture, if you will. And then we're gonna spread that on top of our crust and you wanna make sure that this is spread out fully on top of your crust so you don't have any dry patches with the crust left behind. As y'all know, the spreading is my favorite part of keto baking, frosting, whatever it is. I just really think it's therapeutic. Then I'm going in with the other half of my chopped pecans, putting them on top, take your hand, push them down a little bit into that filling mixture so you don't have any of them falling out when you go to cut it. Put it back in the oven for 350 degrees for about 15 minutes, and then you're gonna take it out, let it cool. I suggest that you let it cool overnight before you actually cut it. If you cut it too soon, it's gonna be a hot, sticky mess, but if you wait overnight, it is hardened and it's good enough to go ahead and cut. So that is the recipe, guys. Super easy, let's talk about the macros. So the macros for this recipe are fat, 24 grams of fat, calories, 243, protein, four grams, and net carbs, 1.66, which we're gonna round to two. And that makes a total of 15 bars, if you're wondering. So for 15 servings, that's the macros, super on point. I will tell you that this recipe isn't overly sweet. So if you like things super sweet, you might wanna up the granular or you might wanna add a little bit of maple or molasses. Just know if you add more molasses, that is going to up your net carbs just a little bit, but not much. But I think it's perfect as it is. I've been serving mine with a little bit of sugar-free whipping cream with a little nutmeg on top. So on point, y'all. This tastes just like pumpkin pie in bar form. You can make this in a pie form as well. So if you have a pie pan, Put the crust in a pie pan and then put it on top and you've got yourself an easy, quick pecan pie if you don't want the bar form. But I really like the bar form as far as being portable when going to a Thanksgiving gathering. I think it's just really a great idea. Y'all, please give this video a huge thumbs up if you plan on making these bars now or for Thanksgiving. If you make these, please tag me on Instagram in a post and a story. I would love to see you whipping these up in the kitchen. If you're not subscribed, what are you guys waiting for? I'm trying to bring y'all as many keto friendly options here on the channel when it comes to recipes. And I'd love to have you a part of the family here. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have an amazing Friday, an awesome weekend. Get in the kitchen, cook these, tag me. I want to see it. Love you guys. Bye.